they say they can't. I know, cause I'm way on top of my flow, and she has nothing that's inside, so I'm out the window. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J-Rob back at it again with another video and today we're going to be talking about some NBA players who you did not know's fathers also played in the NBA. So when we think about NBA players who had dads in the NBA, we usually tend to think about Joe Bryan or Tim Hardaway Sr. But there's a lot of unknown players you did not know. So we're just going to start it right off. Devin Booker, his father, Melvin Booker played in the NBA and he was a 6-1 point guard played for Missouri and he was named Big 8 player of the year in 1994. If you know if you don't know what the Big 8 is, basically it's the Big 12 before the Big 12, all right? And after going undrafted, Melvin Booker spent time overseas. Eventually, he would play for the Warriors, Rockets, and Denver Nuggets. And in 32 NBA games, he averaged 5.2 points a game and 3.1 assists per game. And uh, Melvin Booker was not the lethal shooter his son is today because he only shot 27% from three. Moving on, the next NBA dad that you don't know about is Wes Matthews Sr. Yes, the father of Wesley Matthews. He was also a 6'1 point guard, but he played at Wisconsin-Madison, and he was selected by the Washington Bullets as the 14th pick in the 1980 NBA draft. Now, that draft wasn't really that good. I, I think one of the best guys out of that draft was Kiki Vandeweghe. Yeah, kind of forgettable, but in five NBA seasons, Wes Matthews Sr., Averaged 7.9 points a game and 4.2 assists per game. And he also won two NBA championships with the Lakers. And I believe the 1987 season and the 1988 season. So the next NBA dad you definitely don't know about is Corey Crowder. The father of Jay Crowder. Yes, Corey Crowder, a 6'5 wing, played at a small school, Kentucky Wesleyan. And he won a Division II championship while playing there. And in 58 NBA games, Corey Crowder averaged only 2.1 points a game and 8.8 re rebounds a game. Now, an interesting thing about Corey Crowder is that he was playing pro basketball up until Jay Crowder was 16 years old. So imagine having a father who is still playing pro basketball why, while you're a teenager. I know uh, LeBron James Jr. can relate. So the, another interesting fact is that Corey Crowder and Jay Crowder both played for the Utah Jazz. But wait, I'm not done. Because another fun fact is that Thabo Sevalosha played with both Corey Crowder and Jay Crowder. As, as you already know, Corey, um, Jay Crowder and Thabo Sevalosha play on the same team, the Utah Jazz. But Thabo, in his younger days, was teammates with Corey Crowder on the French club, Elan Chalon. Now the next NBA dad that you do not know about is Rick Brunson, the father of Jalen Brunson, all right? And he was a 6'4 guard, played at Temple. After going undrafted, he played for the Quad City Thunder and the Connecticut Pride. Yes, those are real NBA teams. In nine NBA seasons, though, Rick Brunson... He put up kind of solid stats, okay, with 3.2 points a game and 2.6 assists per game. And after his playing career, Rick Brunson went on to become an assistant coach for the Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. But he recently resigned because, you know, you know, something was going on with him and some massages. That's all I can say. If you want to look up the story, you can look it up on your own. All right. And the last NBA dad that you do not know about, I saved the best for last, all right? And that is Terry Davis, the father of Ed Davis. Terry Davis, what can I say? This guy was a 6'4", uh, <clears throat> this guy was a 6'9", power forward slash center, born in Danville, Virginia. And I had to put that in there because on my dad's side, a lot of my relatives are from Danville, Virginia. So, you know, big ups to Terry Davis, you know, Danville, we out here, even though I'm not really from Danville, but, you know, still representing. But in 10 NBA seasons, Terry Davis averaged 6.4 points a game and six rebounds a game. Now, 
In, 19, in the 1992-93 season, Terry Davis averaged 12.7 points a game and 9.3 rebounds. Now that's pretty solid, but catch this. That was on a Dallas Mavericks team that went 11-71. and 71. That is unbelievably bad. But he had good stats, though, and after that season, his career completely derailed as he was met with a tremendous amount of injuries. But nevertheless, a solid career in the NBA 10 seasons, you know, can't knock him. So, yes, that is the video. I'm probably going to come out of part two of this because, you know, I, I got I got the info. But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and oh, yeah, peace. Hello boys, 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 hello boys.